Hi everyone, Danny James back here again with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. And today we're going to be doing something really interesting. I got this inspiration from the AD channel on how they edit their real estate work. And this is part of the example. Yes, so that's what we're really doing in this video. So this is one of the clips that I've edited with that simple transition and let's run through it. We're going to start on a new timeline and I'm going to delete everything that I just did. I'm gonna just retain the audio for it so that you can use the audio to follow through and to make the, the adjustments. And I'm going back to my project panel and I'll drag the clips which I want to use. Uh, all, the, all four clips except this one, I'm going to use them. Let's place them in the timeline. We sort of want to arrange them. If you've been following through or watching other videos, you know that I like to arrange items in a descending staircase manner or method. And this is what we are practically doing. Okay, whenever I hear the beat, that's why we'll go and transition into the other clip. I'm going to cut right there. And I'm going to start the other video right there. This other one, I'm going to begin it right here. And the other one, we're going to follow up through with them. And what you want to do first, let's highlight every clip first. And go to your effects panel, search for a crop effect. I had it highlighted and we're going to drag and drop it on top of our clips. Clicking on the first video, you just go to your effect controls tab and you'll find everything that you can use to adjust anything right here. Scrolling on, that's here. I want to start making transitions right here. And what you do, just take the razor tool, make the first cut, and then make another cut. So we, we're going to start on a lower note. We have the if crop effect right here, and it's all about mathematics. So since the sequence settings, if I come and look at my sequence settings, we have a 1280 by 720 frame. And if it's a 1280, it means that it's divisible by three. It's also divisible by two. Again, that applies to the 720. 720 could be divisible by three or by two. And for the first cut, we're going to crop it from the left by 50% so that you can see the clip underneath. And this is why I wanted to stack the clips going in a staircase sort of method. And so we've, we've been able to put 50% on the left side of the crop and you can see the image below or the video which is following through. And on the second one, I'm going to do the same thing on the left adjustment, but this time, but this time I'm going to make it 100. You also want the transitions to be sort of faster. And this is what we have. Yeah, and I can cut it right there. We go on to the next clip. Right here. And this time we're still going to make another cut. Take the razor tool, make the first cut. You can press shift and the right direction button to move ahead five frames. And I'm going to do it twice so that you move 10 frames and make another cut and hold shift once again and press the right arrow key on your keyboard twice to move 10 frames make a cut you can go back to your selection tool and delete everything else and on this one we're going to be okay i shouldn't have cut it i want to have three sections right here i'm going to press shift once again and cut it right there so we have our crop effect on all our layers so we, we have nothing else to add once again basic mathematics we want to now make three divisions we can now cut from the top the first one you can put it at 33 percent 
and this is what it does it reveals the layer beneath so i can hide this layer so you can see what happens so as the video scrolls through we have the first cut made through the crop effect when we'll go to the uh, to the next clip go to cropping from the top right and we multiply that with 3 by 2 and that is 66 you could be as precise as you want maybe put 33.3 .3. once again come and put 33 actually that's what we're going to do i'm going to be exact 33.3 .3 for the first clip and again on this second clip i'm going to make it 66 point Sixty-six point four point six once again and on the third clip we're going to make it 99.99 which is basically a hundred sort of and this is what you have if we reveal the layer beneath this is what you have since we started this editing Right now we're going to be more precise or faster. We're not going to let these other clips stay for longer. Once again, we're going to make a few more cuts right here. I can feel a bit right here. I'll make a cut. And after the cut, I'm going to hold shift and the right direction arrow twice to go 10 frames. I'm going to add another one. And let the other clip get to so this time we're going to divide it just by two and on our effects tab we can do something as crazy as maybe right now let's cut it from the bottom you can have 50 percent to reveal this one from from below and then again with the bottom effect from the crop folder we're going to put it at 100 and this smooth transition happens and let's bring the last clip and i'm going to do basically the same thing you've been doing all over again So I'm done making the effect for this one and we have the full video happening. I can render everything so that you can watch in full resolution. And all this time we've been editing to the bit or cutting to the bit and that's the fun of it. And that's how it makes the audience or the user who's watching to be more entertained or thrilled with the transitions that you've made. Okay, now we've been able to render everything. Let's watch it from the beginning. It's a simple transition but has a big difference in your project so comment down below what you'd like to see in my next video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video peace